Welcome to my live lesson with Rory that we used to play a lot of golf with. He came down for a lesson. I'm helping with his club path and his club face control. We worked in two ways. We were trying to get him to work differently in the ground, which did shift the needle a bit. And then I had to give him a hands and arms feel as well to try and push it on a bit more, which you will see. If you like the information in this video, you want more of this kind of information, make sure you sign up for my free newsletter, which gives weekly tips. Links down below. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Rory did really well. He made some big changes here. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, so club path is out to win nearly two degrees. Yeah, out to win. Shots are definitely pulled. Yep. Which is what you're saying. You'll definitely find it goes left. Good carry, 1627. Pretty warm, not totally warm. I reckon you'd carry it near a 170 at the end of the day. Like which you... is kind of why I'd pull on a, cl on a course. Good yeah. seven iron, good strength. Now, if we look at the way you use the ground, you're really good at using your verticals. This blue one, which you can see down there as well, if you want to see it there. Yeah. The fact that that peaks and the club is still up in the air is powerful, which is why you do see good strengths. You can see your purple one here, this one up here, look, is very high. So that gray bar, that blacked out bar is tour averages. Your horizontals are above tour average. Yeah. So you're using a lot of horizontal, which is away from the net, towards the net kind of pushing. Old mm -hmm. fashioned like left and right. Yeah, kind of that way. Um, and then your torque values are low. So I want to take away from this peak and add it to this peak. Okay. And the goal is to get your club path less out to in. Yep. And then in turn, the face angle, so face the path is nearly three close to that two close path. So you're swinging left with the face left. Yeah, which is, like I said, why over the last, well, since we played, yeah. it's left going left. left, or like if I can force it yeah. further out, it's kind of drawing back a bit. A and you've mentioned as well that your setup, and you can see this in your setup, if you look on the screen there, look, look at how far back your hands are at address. Yeah. Which means if that face was even pointing at the target, that face is open because there should be handle lean in your setup. Mm -hmm. Those clubs are designed to have handle lean. So you're, you're starting straight to back with the handle and the face pointing somewhere at target to slightly right, meaning, so basically, if this was straight and that was pointing at target, well, you want handle lean, so it just instantly points the face out that way. Mm -hmm. But you're doing it and going left, it's all double whammy. Yeah. Um, if you watch your pressure shift as you move back, it's really interesting. So you do follow an amateur pattern. You start 50% lead foot, which is good. So at this start position, I'm 100% on my lead foot at this point. Yeah. Because okay. which way does my backswing go? That so way. I load left yep. to push right. Um, so you're a bit more on your, tra on your lead, which is fine. But then what happens is you just basically watch the bars look here. You go 75% trail. So from this stage, this bar needs to start coming down, not going up. We want that pressure recentering from here. Mm -hmm. You've had a physical sway, which is fine. Let's recover it. You don't, that bar just keeps going up. Little bit of trying to recenter now that you can see those arrows because you're starting to push that way. So there's the recentering. It's just too late. Yep which will lead to poor strikes, a lot of horizontal savings, gammy lead knee hits, that kind of collapse in lead knee. Been editing videos myself for years, yeah. cringing at that. Seeing that, <laughs> yeah. you know, that if I steal that, if I pop you just there, steal your club, um, you know, you are going to see tall players getting much more that way. Yeah, and mine's. Yeah, where you're, well, you're using horizontal to try and save every day and it just doesn't work. I've done it for years as well, it gets floppy here. You're obviously not able to control path with it. It's not even that you're even miles across as well. You're almost like this way. It's all so disjointed. Mm -hmm. It would be good to get you here. We need to get you going trail for recentering. And what we're going to do is we're going to just, it might not work. Let's see, because this is hard for, like, not everyone clicks with this. I want this force to go up. And I want you to feel like you have hardly any of this force. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Try this, ball set up no ball. ball. Don't well, swing as, as I was. Yeah, just for the minute. I'm gonna do that in a second. Don't swing the club. As you make your pretend back swing, don't swing. You're gonna lift lead knee and lead foot. So yeah, you're gonna go that way. Mm -hmm. And then as you try to hit the ball, you're gonna actually flip them over. So if I steal that from you, 
you are going to feel that you're basically going, yeah, come back to the start, nice and relaxed in your body. I want you to feel like you're going this way, this way to hit it, yeah. that'll stay tilted. Yeah. So basically we're trying to put loads of this force in. Let's have some shaft mm. lean with your grip at address. That looks weird. Yeah, that'll feel really weird. Okay, so. So get those shaky knees going. That's it, going really nice back and through, bit of speed. Good. Could be loads more. Yep. You were quite good this way. Downswing, loads more that way. <clears throat> okay, with the ball. Good effort. And there it goes further left, which is what I would expect. Yeah, nice start direction on that. Still got the curvature, but you started that more out towards target. I could see you eyeing target up more on that swing. <laughs> So we're starting to move some needles, 72 compared to 88. Yep. Top of backswing there down to 62. And what was that at the top of the backswing? Like 70s to 80s. Yeah. And we are seeing a little bit more force now and less coming, a little bit coming out of this one and a little bit more. This one's getting into the tour average now, but it's still a lot horizontal. Yeah. Definitely lead leg is straightening up a little bit. It's good. That's closer. Um, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to get rid of this roll. Okay. It's another thing that I've been vomiting in my mouth over when <laughs> editing videos for the last <laughs> 10 years. So we're going to continue this idea of what you're doing in the ground, but I want you to turn this follow through into much more of a feeling like the hands are closer going left follow through, not so much of the out follow through. So I want you to start feeling like you're going this way to hit it. Yep. So my foot's coming back to explain to you, obviously we're still doing this. Yep. I want you to get rid of that. Like that is aggressive and not needed. I want you to feel like you're hitting it more that way. Yeah. And I think me just saying that and this, that makes sense to you, does it? Yeah. Yep. So you would probably call this like a hold off cut in your head, mm -hmm. where you're definitely giving it the <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah. The feather as I call that, it's the... <laughs> it's so stylish. But though. he's good at it, we're not. <laughs> you're in it over the blooming field, out of the park, you know? If I put my headband on, I might yeah. be better. <laughs> Don't let go, follow through, we need it to feel much more this way. Don't come over that foot. Try and stay more on that foot. Does that make sense? So hold on to the club. I'm gonna pull you, okay? Hold okay. on, hold on. Don't come with me, I want you to go that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, and again, so same thing. I'm gonna see how hard I'm gonna pull you. Yeah. So you've got to, don't let me pull you over. You ready? Mm -hmm. Tug of war, here we go. That's it. That's like, it's that force and more that's pulling on you when you hit a shot. Yeah. Do you, do you feel you pulling back then? Yeah. That's coming, if you, if you now buckle that foot out, so this way, okay, hold on. Buckle that, now I'm not gonna pull you now, because mm -hmm. that's gonna feel like I could break your ankle if I pull you. <laughs> yeah. So if you're making a downswing and getting out there, we're not, this, this force is gone. So feel like you're bracing up that foot, bracing up that leg, it's going back. And then that club is coming at me on the way through. So do that practice swing, hit me with your hands. You won't hit me, you can't reach me. Hold the face off, but swing your hands at me. Yeah, more at me. That was about there. Okay. This is where that big pull up disappears. See where I am? Get your hands up here. Hit me with your hands, really come round to me, yes and hold the face off if you do that. <laughs> Arrows! Line ball. That's so good. Carrying 162, so with 100 forts, you've still got your distance in there. Yeah, it's funny as well, because that, probably in comparison with what I'm now used to, that felt quite weak. So again, no ball. You can just address to the side of it. Yeah, okay. 
Take yourself on. I'm going to pull you again, so get ready for the fight. I'm going to pull you a slightly different way this time. I'm going to pull mm -hmm. you in here. Holding on, we're going to have a good old fight. Go. That's it. That's it. Without the ball. Hands left, face held off, hips left. Talk that plate up. Really get that torque going through the plate. Yeah, could go yeah. way more yeah. that way with your hip. Yeah, I'm concentrating a lot on Yeah, get that, that, on that one. get that going out through that foot. Yeah, go on in with the ball. Joking aside here, because obviously I told you to just wear what you like, but I used to think that the idea of what shoes you wear is preposterous. Yeah. Can you see how those shoes could be hopeless for this? <laughs> yeah. Because they've got so much freedom this way. Yeah, there's no stability at all. Yeah, I mean, and I'm now seeing when I use the plates more and I'm now starting to offend the ground like I never did before, that actually, so if I go out and play and it's slightly damp, I can't not wear spikes. Because I feel like I'm going to do my knee in. Because as soon as I yeah. go, like I'm like skating on the floor. <laughs> Um, so that, that you're almost in bare feet in those shoes. Yeah. Yeah, it's decent. A little high right, but I'll take it. So that was very much to me looked focused more on the hold off hands and the hands left. Yeah. It didn't look so good through the ground there. Okay. Yeah, I think it's one or the other at the moment. Yeah, I can. It? I get that. And I'll be honest with you, if the game is um, hit target. You know, so you go out and play next week and you need to hit target. Um, the hands left hold off is by far the quicker band-aid. Yeah. The ground idea is not a band-aid. It's a complete change of all fundamentals. You just feeling like you're swinging left and holding off. You're, that's how you go out and have more fun straight away. Quite different shots, aren't they? Yeah, very different. So ball flight absolutely has changed. Yep. The way you're using the ground isn't changing as dramatically as ball flight is changing because, I mean, the torque value is up. Mm -hmm. You're 106 now where you were 90. But your horizontal is... Still so there. you've just added more force. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need to take... A, you can't take away from the horizontal so well yet. You will, though. Yeah. Uh, you will. You can see that last one was toe, but look at your lead leg there. So much better. Yeah. Um, your first one, I think, was this one. Yeah, see how much more buckled you are in the lead leg? Yeah. Very different. Look how, as well, this is always a big myth with golf. Look at when you're coming through to hit the ball, how you're like 66, 34. With this one, you're like 83, 17. I could survey 100 people like they did. I survey 100 people. And they said <laughs> that you should be, you know, 80, 90, 100% on your lead foot as you hit the ball. No. Yeah. I can show you some who are, but I show you loads who are. I mean, when I hit the ball, when I'm hitting it well, I've got more pressure on this foot. Because guess where this foot is? Going it's up. not on the mat. Yeah, I've up. left it. So what happens is you get enough on there, and you see it from so many golfers, they actually start backing it up. Because they're preparing for that force that I was falsely putting on you where I pulled you through. Mm -hmm. You weren't preparing for that force, you would just go with it. Where you're just, that's why you see that common picture from pros. It's like out here, isn't it? That's such a common picture. Massive force that way. They're literally like pulling the grip off back this way to keep hold of everything at the speed they're moving. Mm. Um, so yeah, this is like that looks looks so much better. Mm -hmm. I mean, even you can see that, can't you? Yeah. Look at that. Looks obviously the strike's not there. <laughs> yeah, the face is a bit done. Yeah, but you've towed it. Yeah, yeah, massively. Uh, which is why it's shorter. But look at the difference in those coming through, and look at the flip on these. That club is so quick to show me the back of that. I, I mean, I look like a really old man in that one. Yeah. And Apart I'm from the man bun. Not quite so old in that one. Yeah. It's <laughs> a so really interesting look. Start of the lesson, I wanted to take some out of the horizontal and put it into the torque. Mm -hmm. um, your horizontal is now 18%. If we look at your first one here, your 25. horizontal, yeah. 25% value. Well, I mean, it's over tour average. 
you were ninety percent force vector or force on the torque. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to take it out of the purple, put it in the yellow. So twenty five down to eighteen, one hundred and fourteen now touching tour average compared to the other number there. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just that gives you the better chance of feeling like you're swinging left, holding off. Yep. In turn, it'll help you with your strikes. We also see a 60% top of your backswing trail foot, so still could be more recentered than that. Do you remember what you were at the start? 83. Yeah, it was high, yeah. 84. You just change the way you use the ground, which then allows you to change the way you move your hands and arms in the club. Yeah. and in turn facilitate it to some extent, which then allows you to control the ball flight. Mm. It's so hilariously measured and simple and it's just there. It's just, yeah. There's no discussions about, you know, if we did what we did it, you did it, it it's measured. But what about my divot pattern? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Try laying up to 100 yards as well. Good luck with that one. 